Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to learn about computing environment. In olden days, we have only one type of computing environments. That is, the computer is placed in one room. If you want to use the computer, then you go to that room and use the computer. Because those computers are developed with vacuum tubes. Okay, so when we want to access the computer means we go to that room and we can access the computer and we get some result. So those type of computers we are called as a mainframe computers. In second generation, the vacuum tubes are replaced with the transistors and ICs, integrated circuits. And when comparing to vacuum tubes, the transistors and ICs are uh, size is reduced and the fast also increased. And the transistors and ICs are replaced with microprocessors. When the microprocessors come into the picture, the environment will be changed. Why? Because when comparing to transistors and ICs, the size is very much reduced in microprocessor. So, we have four types of environments. One is personal computing environment, time sharing environment, client server environment, and distributed computing. The first one is the personal computing environment. So what is a computer? So computer is a combination of different hardware devices. So for example, so monitor, keyboard, and hard disk, and the processor. Okay. When we cloud all these components, this computer we are called as a personal computer. So that means the data is stored that is related to a one person. That means the data not transferred to any computer and not transferred to any network. Okay. All the computer hardware components are tied together is a personal computer. What is a personal computer is nothing but if these parts are together and used by only one person at a time that we are called as a personal computer. Next one time sharing environment. So time sharing environments, many users are connected to one or more computers is known as a time sharing computers. For example, so this is the computer and this is connected with many terminals, terminal 1, terminal 2 and terminal 3. Now this terminal 1 can access this computer, this central computer and use the resources sometime. After some time, the terminal releases this and terminal 2 can access the central computer and use the resources of central computer. So, for example, there is a printer. So, printer. Now, this printer is shared by all these terminals. This type of environment we are called as a time sharing environment. That means many users are connected to one or more computers. Next one, client server environment. It splits the computing function between central computer and user's computer. So let us take one example. So this is the central computer. So this is the server. And there are many users. So these users we are called as a clients. So client 1, client 2 and client 3. Okay. So now these clients are connected with this server. Now, so what is the server means? Server can provide the services to the clients. So what is a client? So client can request the service from the server. For example, your Gmail account. Okay, for example, I have a Gmail, abc at the rate gmail.com. This is my Gmail address. Now, if this ABC want to send the mail to xyz at the rate gmail.com. Now this ABC send some message that is stored in this server. Now when the xyz is logged into the system, then the server can send the data to this xyz. That means so these are the clients and this is the gmail server. Now the clients can request the server for services and server 
can provide services based on the request of the client and next one distributed computing integration of computing functions between different servers and clients now here in this case there is only one server if you are maintaining more than one servers now so these clients can request the remaining servers also so this we are called as a distributed environment in this we have more than one server and we have more than one clients now we see personal computing environment is nothing but a standard alone system it is a standard alone system it does not connect with any other systems next in time sharing environment there is one central system this central system is connected with the resources like printer hard disk now the central system can share the time among the clients in client server environment the server can provide the services to the clients okay the difference between time sharing and the client server is in time sharing the central system can provide the services so based on some time but here so based on the resources the server can provide the services to the client and distributed computing means here we are going to use more than one server in client server there is only one server more than one client but coming to distributed computing now the there is more than one server these servers can provide the services to the all the clients